Hey guys, we're live. We're a few minutes late, actually almost 45 minutes late. It's all good. Usually start at 1 p.m. Eastern time. If you don't already know me, my name is Heather. Uh, my channel is Heather Boyd Wire and I do all kinds of DIY wire art and jewelry tutorials. So this is Wire Lady TV every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're hopping on, just let me know in the comments where you're where you're watching from. And uh, let me know how you're doing, what you're working on. And uh, if you're not already a member, be sure to join the Wire Art and uh, Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. Hey Peggy, how are you? Good morning. So you're earlier there, that's right. So uh, yeah, we're one, well, we're not 1 p.m. anymore. We're 1.42 in the afternoon, beautiful sunny day in Montreal. I'm a little behind uh, these days because we've been 10.42, ooh, early. Yeah, we've been actually uh, renovating our kitchen DIY style. So that's why I've been crazy busy for the last week, painting every day. Yesterday we ripped up our uh, our floor and put down some tiles in Seattle. Of course you're in Seattle, that's right. We talked about the, um, what, what's that tower called again? I've got a mind blank, the the uh, the famous tower in Seattle that, uh, that a lot of people uh, for weddings, they uh, I don't know if they get married there or if they celebrate there, but I've done that um, tower, the Space Needle, that's it. So I've done the Space Needle as a cake topper several times. I should do earrings actually, I never thought about that. But um, yeah, things are a little slow on Etsy right now, so I've been really focusing on other things. I've been, like I said, renovating my kitchen, doing all kinds of different things. Hey Ruth, how are you? Hi Wendy. Thanks for the tutorial. Yes, that's so awesome. I'm so happy you like the tutorial. I'll show, I'm gonna, when I flip the screen, I'm gonna show you those beads up close a little bit. And uh, I thought today we're gonna do a few more names out of wire um, because I had some requests last week that I didn't get to. So I'm gonna do a few more names. I'm not gonna stay on super long just because I do uh, have to get back to my kitchen. But I wanted to at least check in with you guys, see how you're doing. So what I'll do is I'll just flip over the screen and I'll show you the, the tutorial that Wendy was talking about that I did the other day for Tip Tuesday because a lot of people, unfortunately right now with all that's going on with the COVID situation and uh, stores being closed, people can't get out. Uh, a lot of people are running out of wire, which is um, really unfortunate. I know a lot of places are still shipping. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Hardware stores do have some. I know our hardware stores are open. You have to line up outside and they let you in one by one. It's not the best wire for jewelry, but it's, uh, you know, in a pinch it's okay. And apparently some Michael stores have curbside uh, pickup where you could you can order stuff and pick up. So that's always a possibility. And I even thought maybe Facebook Marketplace or if you have you know, friends on Facebook that have extra materials, you might be able to get some that way as well. But in the meantime, I have postponed the challenge for the 10 day earring challenge and I'll do that in May and when things get back to normal. Oh, in Alaska, that's so cool, very fun. What's the weather like up there? I guess it's starting to get a little bit warmer. And Rainy's here, awesome, from Missouri. Okay, cool, yeah. So last week we did your name and that was that was super fun. So I have a few other names I'm gonna do. I'll flip my screen now. Let's flip it around, okay. And Amanda's here, hey, how are ya? So flip the screen. So these are what we did, I did for Tip Tuesday and this was motivated by Wendy. Hi Jeannie, today, hi, 57, today hi, 57. That's Fahrenheit, so I'm not quite sure that what that, that is in Celsius, but it doesn't sound super warm. So here are the ones that I did on the on the um, tip tutorial. And Ruth has a comment. Let me open the my computer so I can actually see these comments because they go by so quickly. Hi Heather, I've been making a lot of angel charms. Nice, and gift them to nurses. That's so wonderful. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's such a such a thoughtful gift. So yeah, so here are the, this one was made with Fimo or Sculpey. I use Sculpey. So just, I made like some long spaghettis with the Sculpey and wound it around like the chaos beads. So you'll see all these in the tutorial. Yeah, burr, that did, I thought that sounded cold. So this one is made with string dipped in glue and then I painted it gold. You have to go, just got here, but I have to go. I know I'm late, I'm so sorry about that. So I see it now. So here's this one was made with embroidery floss and varnished with a acrylic medium. You could probably also do something like this, like maybe 
with white transparent glue and then varnish it with nail polish. You could do that. The only thing with varnishing with nail polish, I find it smells really strong, even for quite a few days after. And then this one was made just with string and that one is nail polish. And actually this one doesn't smell too bad. But I thought I'd show you guys a, a couple of other things that one of my very first videos that I ever did was a fabric bead. So if any of you are sewers and have scrap fabrics, these are super fun. You just take strips of fabric and wind them around and then you can wind some beads around them. So these are really like super fun. I've done them at quilters guilds and um, with uh, different groups um, of people at uh, craft shows and stuff too. So these are super fun too. So if you guys have ideas for jewelry that people can make without wire, uh, definitely let me know because I know a lot of people are looking for different ideas so you can definitely um, you know let us know in the comments so these are some of the names I had so I'm going to put these at the side and do a couple of names but the other thing I wanted to um, do let me just get the wire here so we have yeah let me just see we're going to do this wire I think we're going to just go ahead and do some craft wire sorry my brain's going all over the place with different different things that I want to do and and show you the other thing was that I wanted to do here was just to show you these are actually paper beads so that's another thing that you could do these ones are actually wound around with wire but you can make paper beads that aren't wound with wire and I have a tutorial on how to make a little gadget to make those as well <clears throat> just losing my voice so let's get some I'm gonna get some wire going here and I know that Maya had asked me to do her name so I'll start maybe I'll start with that and then we'll go from there and just to I just want to try to do some different letters to show you guys some different uh, possible letters that you could do and I'm actually going to do a video with the whole alphabet and I I'll, I won't do it on the live because I would like to devote a whole video to that where you could really see it clearly doing the whole alphabet. Uh, so for I thought for today, I'd just do a few names and um, we'll leave it at that. And then if you guys have ever any questions when I'm on the live streams, this is a great opportunity to ask any questions about uh, jewelry making, wire art, anything like that. Sorry, gotta go. Yeah, oh, that's okay. But thanks for hopping on. And I'm like I said, I'm really sorry it's a little late today, but better late than never, right? So, so whoever has to go, I absolutely am not offended whatsoever. And I totally appreciate you popping in to say hello. So if we're gonna do the M, we'll just start with the capital M at the beginning. And I usually just do it quite simply. I do the start of it and then I bend this to the back. So we just bend the wire to the back. And I always, you know, am a little disappointed with, I find my letters are always a little bit stiff, but I'm gonna do my best to loosen them up a little bit. But this is just to get the technique and then you can just do it any which way you want. So you could actually loop it around, but I like to bend it to the back. So we'll bend it to the back. We'll bend this right to the back. This is the artistic copper wire in 20 gauge. So it's pretty easy to work with. And we'll just bring this around. And then another uh, question people had was about how to do the letter I with the with the little dot suspended in it. And I know a lot of people that do wire letters actually don't even do the dot in the I, but I kind of like the way it looks with a little dot in it. So we'll just bring this around. We'll bring this up here. So here's the M. Okay, we just sort of went to the back, to the back, and then up. Now to do the I, what I do is just take this and then I bend it a little to the left okay, and then bring this around and we're actually going to make the circle that looks like a little bit of a dot. Okay, So there's our little dot and then we're just going to make sure it's a complete circle and then bend this down. Okay, And then we just bring that in there. So there you have the impression of a dot on the I, which is super cool. So then we want to do the R, okay, and we're going to bring this around here, okay, we're going to bring this here down, and to do the R, what I do is I actually bend it to the back, 
and then kind of form the R. So there's also many ways you can do the R as well, but this way I find it works quite well. So bend it to the back. Actually, I'm going to bend it to the front. So I'm going to just flip it over, bend this to the front at about the same level as the top of the eye. could be maybe a little lower. And then we want to, like a cursive R, bring it up. Okay, so it looks something like that. This is it upside down. And then we're going to bend this to the back. Okay, so we're just going to go there. I don't know if everybody remembers their cursive, but uh, I, I, still, I still write in cursive a lot of times. I like to handwrite things, especially when I'm taking notes, because I find I remember, I process it better if I write, write out my notes. I keep notes on my iPod and my phone as well. So we're just going to bring this around. So now we need the J. So the J is a little bit like the I in that we're going to bring it up, bring it up here, and then we have to form the little dot on the, on the J as well. So we're going to go here, bring it up, and bring this a little over, and bring this one around underneath, and then down. Okay, so that become actually it's the dot ended up being a little bit smaller than the other one. So you want to try it. That's the key is to get them a little bit consistent. So we're going to bring that down here. Okay, and then to form the J, we'll just bring this around. Okay, so that'll just make like a really cursive type J. And then we're going to bring this across. Oh, I don't know why my live stream things uh, my live stream thing says lip on it. That's super awkward. I just noticed that now the title of my live stream says lip. That's very, very odd. Oh, well, that's embarrassing, but I will definitely edit that when I upload the video. So now we're going to do an A. We're going to do the A here. Here, we're going to bring it around. And so that's the start of the A. Could actually, that's the same way to do the O. And then we're going to bring this up here and bring this down on top. Okay, so we're going to bring that down on there. Okay, so there we have the A and bring this across here. And there we have Maya. So now what we want to do is you want to, if you want to know how to hang it from a pendant, there's different ways you can do it. I mean, Several times I did a heart on the end, which is kind of cute. But if you want to do something different, like say you want to, I didn't think to do this before. This is just like a total, I'm just winging off this idea. I'm going to try to do a flower. Let's see if I can do like a little flower. So if I bring this up here, we'll want to do kind of a center of a flower, just because I have a lot of, I have a lot of wire left. So, so this is where things get a little more interesting. So if I want to do a flower, so imagine where the middle of the flower is going to be. I'm going to do a circle. Just do a little circle. And how about if I do a little spiral in the middle? Let's just try it. I don't want to run out of wire. So I'll just bring this around. I'm going to form like a sort of a little round like shape here. And then I want to do some... Uh, petals. So let's see if I can do some petals here. Maybe if I go this way. So let's try to do some petals. So if I come around here, just bring one here and then form some petals. Bring that that way. Yeah, I think this is a fun idea to do different things, different symbols at the end, at the end of the uh, names would be a cute idea because I've you often when you see the names, you'll see a heart on the end, but I kind of like the idea of doing something a little bit different. And that's what I love about these live streams is every time I do a live stream, there's some new idea that comes up. Just it's the creative process. You just you just start with an idea and you play around with it. And then something else occurs to you, which is really cool. It's actually somebody on the Facebook page today, I don't remember who it was, but posted something and she said, oh, it had started out as something else. And then it ended up being not at all what she envisioned, but it turned out she was really happy with it. And I said, yeah, that's like happy accidents, right? When we, when we make something and we haven't really intended to do that, but it turns out really nicely. So this is becoming like the flower. It's kind of funky. 
And I think we're going to have to do one more petal to make it be able to uh, go all the way around. So let's do another petal. We'll do another little petal here. And, uh, and then we'll think of some other things that we could put on the end of a name. So that would be cool. So let's bring this around here. Bring that around. And actually, Amanda, are you still on the, are you still on the call here? You, you've hopped on for a bit. I'm not quite sure who's still on the call. So you, you guys let me know uh, if you're still there. And uh, there we go. So see, that's kind of cute. It's like a little funky flower. And then you, what you could do is stick the loop in one of these ends. So you want the loop, one of the loops sticking up. And then if you want to, you have to attach this end, right? So it's not going to come undone. So I think what we can do is just bring it around here and just loop it around where we started, so that's pretty good. Okay, and then I'm gonna clip that end because you need it to be uh, clipped down. So we'll just clip that end here and push the end in here. So we're gonna push this in here. And then we need something on the other side. So we'll need another loop that's um, about at that same level because this end one ended up being quite high, although we could move it down. If we move this petal down, then it's going to be at the same level as this. So why don't we go ahead and make a little loop on the end of the M. So we'll just bring this around here. So if we go around here and then there'll be a loop for the, for the, uh, the jump ring for the M. So we'll bring that here. And then the same thing, you're going to have to finish that off. Otherwise it's going to come undone. So let's just flip it, flip it over and bring that to the back and maybe just, I don't want to twist it around too much because I like the way it looks quite simple. So let's just give that a little clip. We'll just give this one a little clip here. Perfect. And take that off and then we're going to finish it here. So there we go. So there's Maya with a little flower, a little random flower on the end. And if you want to tighten up the flower, you can definitely, you know, bring in your pliers and tighten it up a little bit if you have to. That's not a problem at all. So we'll just bring that in there. And yeah, you can just tighten it up like so. You want the, the spiral to be kind of underneath. If this slips a bit, you can you can fix it up. So so there's the little the little flower and Maya. So that's super cute. So maybe I'll do another name. So let me look. Oh, uh, some, uh, Susan asked last time, so I'm going to try Susan and see what we could do about a capital S. So let's get the, let's get the wire again. And should I try another wire? I'll try a stiffer wire. I have some brass wire. It's also the artistic uh, copper brass wire. So it's a little bit stiffer, but we're going to, we're going to give this one a try. So we want to start with the S. And so for the S, let's just take our wire and always leave a little bit at the beginning so you have a lot to, you have some leeway, some, something to work with. And we'll just start by doing the S. So take our larger round pliers and we're just going to bring this in here. This is probably going to be way too much extra wire, but let me just see. Okay, why don't I just, you know, I'm going to do it this way, I think. Bring that around here. So, yeah, we'll start with a little less wire at the top. So, this is going to be the first loop, okay? And then the other loop for the S. So, that's just a basic shape, like S for Susan. So, we'll bring that around. And let me just tighten this one up a little bit. Okay, and then this one... There's a few ways you can do that. You can just do like a little loop or you can, you could do a spiral or you can just like bend it back on itself. But just because I, I usually bend it back on itself, I'm going to try something a little bit different. So let me just bring this and bend this to the back. Okay, just to see. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but we'll just see. So if I bend that like that for the S, it still looks like an S, so that's fine. So we're going to just go in there, make a little S, and then 
to continue with the S, I'm just going to bend this back on itself. So we're going to bring this here, make it a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to bend this to the back. So we're going to take this, bend this to the back here, okay, and now I'm not sure what's, I'm not seeing any comments whatsoever, so I don't even know if you guys can hear me, and uh, if you are still there, definitely just say yes or something in the comments so I know if you're still there, because it looks like people are watching, but I don't see any interaction, so if you're making comments and I don't see them, it's because I don't see them and I don't know what's going on. Let me refresh my page. There we go. Just refresh and we'll see. Oh, yes, there's tons of comments and I was not, I'm so sorry, you guys. I was not seeing your comments whatsoever and I had to refresh, refresh my page and now, oh my goodness, there's so many comments. Sorry about that, guys. Now, so Amber's here. And Amber, we started late anyways. Peace sign, yeah, I've done. Oh, peace sign at the end would be cool. A smiley face, oh, so many ideas. Okay, cool. Yeah, can hear you, yes, yes. Okay, cool, thanks guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I had to refresh my page. That has never happened. Very, very odd. Okay, so, so this is the beginning of the S here. And let's bring this one up here to do the U. So we're gonna bend this up. Okay, and then we'll bend it back on itself. Now I'm starting to wonder, did I do a Susan last week? Now I'm, uh, I've lost track of which names I did last week. So, so if I did, let me know, dealing with a whiny baby. Oh boy, I remember those days, but not like it was yesterday because it was 20 years ago. I did, I did the, I did Susan already. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Let's do Sue. We'll just do Sue, to, we'll keep it simple. And then I'm going to do another name because I've lost track of what I've done. So there we go. So we're going to just go here. So I'll just do Sue and then I'm going to do something, uh, do something at the end. So you guys had some really good suggestions. I like the idea of the peace sign. So let's try that. Let's try the peace sign, see if it's going to work. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go here and then to do the, to do the, E, like to finish the E, I just bend it down and across. So there's Sue, very easy. So, <clears throat> excuse me, now to do the peace sign, I think what I'm going to do is, imagine where I want this circle to be. So if I bring it here, okay, and I'm gonna go like that, and then I'm gonna actually, you have to make like a little bend so you have something to work with here and then I need a round form so I'll just get a sharpie I think that's going to be the best thing to work with I'll just get a if I have one a small size I have this sharpie I have this sharpie and what I really need is this sharpie I like this sharpie because it's got a nice uh, end on it that's good to do circles with so there we go. So let's take this and bring this around and we're going to do the peace sign. So we'll see if that's going to work. So for the peace sign, what I usually do is I would do my circle and we'll do a little circle there and bring that around. This brass wire is a little bit stiff. So we're going to just bring this here and I want, I really need this to be on a good right angle. So let me just bend that here. There we go, we want that more on a, a right angle. So we're gonna bring this here, bring this around. Yeah, the brass is very, very stiff. And then we wanna make a circle. So we're gonna bring this around here and we're gonna make a circle. So you see, I just twisted it around and then we're going to bend this one up. I'm gonna use my nail, but I don't advise it if you have manic manicured nails because you don't wanna chip it. So there's the beginning of the peace sign and what we're going to do is bend this to the back and we'll just bend it back and i have a few different ways to make the peace signs uh, i think what i'm what might be easiest is i could clip it off or i can maybe it's going to be easier if i want to continue with one piece of wire like i could clip it off and put another wire for the other part but i'm going to do you're a plastic artist cool yeah 
Uh, can you do Robin? Okay, let me just see. Yeah, Robin, I had your request from last week, so let me do that. I'll do your name next. That sounds good. I'll do Robin next. And then, Robin, what should I put at the end of your name? Like, what what little symbol uh, symbol do, can you imagine to put at the end of your name? Thanks, Katya. I have marvelous hands. They're a little full of paint right now, but they're, they work. They, they're still working, so that's good. So now, see, I just... For the peace sign, it went down and bent across a bit, and then now I bent it to the front, and now I want to form that little thing for the peace sign. So a tulip. Oh, I can try a tulip. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'll definitely try a little tulip. Yeah, I wish you guys could, like, send me little drawings while we're, while we're on the live stream. That's something we can do on Zoom, and I still haven't organized my next Zoom call, but when I do... Um, I'll be sure to invite you guys and we can do a live uh, like a live zoom call where you guys can actually show me what you're working on So there's the peace sign and I just bent that to the back. So let's give that a little clip and Yeah, so for the tulip I'll have to do like a stylized tulip. I'll have to see so there we go. That's kind of cute So that's Sue with a little peace sign. Ooh, I really like this now and so what you could do is I could just clip that end off, you know. I don't even have to twist it because this wire is very thick. So I can just clip that, clip it off. And then if you push the wire in there flat, then it's nice and flush. So all you would have to do is put a jump ring here and a jump ring here, and you could put it on a, on a cord. So I'm super happy with that. That's super fun. Uh, can you do an angel and underneath put the name baby? Hmm, that sounds interesting. Let me write that. Angel with a baby. Okay, that's uh, with the word baby. Hmm, I like that idea. Yeah, I can I can definitely work with that. We'll see. Love the peace sign. The peace sign is cool, eh? Yeah, no, it worked out really well. So let's try another different kind of wire. Well, it's the same kind of wire, but it's copper. This is uh, copper colored. So this is a, still the artistic wire. I love artistic wire. I should really uh, branch out and try. I know there's Para Wire. There's some other wire companies, uh, Rio Grande or something. But I've only ever really bought from artistic wire and then random Etsy shops as well. So I should really branch out and see. Okay, so let's do Robin. So there we go. Ahmed said, so cool job. Thank you. So to do Robin, let's start with, um, we'll leave a little bit of extra here for the, um, I'm just trying to think of where, how I'm going to put the ring in. I'm just trying to think in advance. I think what I'll probably do is just, I'm just going to leave a little bit here. I might do like a little spiral or something. And we'll just start forming the R. So this is going to be an end that I might make into a little spiral. And then we'll start the R. So at the top of the R, we're going to do a little bend. I hear my back door opening and closing. I might have to go and shut it at some point. So uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the squeaking in the background. Some sounds maybe you don't hear. So uh, my daughter is also doing a live stream, a live Zoom call with her buddies in her camera club so we're, we're both online here and let's hope it nothing's gonna uh, nothing's gonna break down so so here we go so usually how I would do an R is I would like backtrack and and like just turn the wire back on itself and go down but for the sake of doing something a little bit different I'm gonna try to make it a little bit looser and actually take this and make a little bit of a loopy thing. So let's try to make it a little Laura with a camera. Oh, that sounds cool too. So I'm gonna write that one. I'm not gonna get all of these done today, but I'll definitely write some of these down. But that's, I love that idea. And you're a photographer, that's super cool. My daughter's a photographer, so I should, uh, I could do one for her too. Her, hers, um, her name is uh, Mimi B Photography. Um, well, she goes by Mimi B Photography for her personal account, but her business account is Mimi B Dolls. She does doll photography. 
So, uh, so I should definitely um, make her one as well. So I've just made a little loop for the R. Um, Katie says you've skilled, skilled with your hands. Thank you so much. Well, it's, this is uh, definitely lots of experience. I've been doing wire art for 30 years and I have a lot of experience uh, drawing as well. I, I specialized in drawing when I took uh, fine arts. So, so this is cool. I like the way it's more stylized with the little loop-de-loop. You guys are going to encourage me to loosen up my my uh, my lettering skills, so that's pretty awesome. It's just in practice, say eh, that you get better. And letters are tricky, so I'm actually going to do a full video how to do all the letters of the alphabet. I'll try to do that in the next couple of days because I think it's a lot of people really would like to learn about lettering. So this is the O. We're just going to go here, keep it simple. And I know some people actually would bring the wire up and then depending on your next letter, you know how cursive O's actually like go from here, but I'm going to just go from here and just wait one second. I'm going to close my door. It's driving me crazy. Sorry, I'm back. My back door was swinging open and closed and it was driving me nuts. Leslie with the paintbrush. Oh my goodness, you guys have such great ideas. So also going on the list. So there we go. Yeah, I've actually done a painter's palette, which was super, super cool, but I love the idea of the paintbrush. That's, that's a great idea. So here's the RO and we're going to bring this up and make the B. So for the B, it's basically, you do an L. So we're gonna bring this down here and do an L, just like that, however high you want it. You can adjust it, bring that across. And then we're gonna do another circle, like we did the O, but this'll be the, this'll create a, a B. So, so we have the like an L and then the O behind it creates a B. So there's the B for Rob. I have a friend named Rob. I should make him one of these. Actually, my friend Rob is a storyteller. He's a he's a high school teacher and a drama teacher, and he's a storyteller. He's part of the Beacons or the uh, Montreal Storytellers Guild. And so, and actually, he's the part of, owner of the Viva Vida Art Gallery, where I I sell my work in Montreal. And sometimes they do live streams from the gallery with him storytelling, which is super cool. And uh, I just love storytelling. I love poetry reading. I go to open mic all the time. I don't write, but I, I'm a appreciator. So I go to these open mics all the time to hear storytelling and poetry and live music and stuff. Katy says, I love your creations. Thank you so much. So here's the eye again with that funny little loop, but at least it distinguishes it being an eye. So there's Robbie. So now we need the N. So for the N, there's a few different ways you can do it. I know some people just do like, like a cursive N where you go like one, two, like that, like kind of a cursive N. But something that I've been doing that I kind of like the effect is I do like a little loop. And I'm still experimenting with, with this. Sometimes I'll like go back and then forth, but then I don't always like the way it looks. So what I end up doing is like I start, I do a little loop like that, but I don't like the loop to be super open. So what I do is I pull it, like I pull it tighter. So it, so the loop actually closes up a little bit, like it's smaller than like the width of your pliers. So you really have to pull it and then you can form the rest of the ends. So we just go around like that and I think it ended up being a little bit on the tall side. That wasn't really my intention, but so there's a little too much space there because I I started the loop too um, high. But this is just to show you, you know, little things that you would fix. Like say the next time I would do it, a that loop a little lower because when you pull it, it gets stretched out a little bit. But see how it just gives the impression of a little of a little kind of um, loop there without being like a full on loop because you don't want it to look like like uh, bigger than the loop on the eye. So there's Robin, looks pretty good. And so tulip, so how are we gonna do a tulip? 
let me just bring this to the back. So, like, what do you think? So, I wish I knew. Like, would it be... Can you guys see my... If I, I had draw it a little darker. Like, when I think tulip, I think something like that. And then maybe with some leaves. So, what do you guys... Let me know what you think of that tulip. Does that look like a tulip? Or what would be your suggestions to change that or to fix that? Let me know in the comments if you guys like that. Or if I should do something else for the tulip. And if I don't hear anything, I'm going to refresh the page again because for some reason, my messages keep... Oh, okay, see, my messages keep doing funny things. So it's nice and stylized. Okay, cool. I have to keep refreshing my page. Oh, well, this is, this is interesting. That's great. Perfect. Okay, let's do this. So now what we want to do, and we don't want it super big either. So I'm just wondering if maybe what I can do is, because I want it, I want it big enough that you can see the detail, but I don't want it to go too much higher than they are. Otherwise it's good. To, if you want it as a pendant, it's not going to hang well. So, I mean, if it was a pin, it wouldn't matter, right? So maybe what I can do is just like make this more like rounded a little bit. Okay, and bring that down a little bit. Might look a little wonky, but this is definitely something that you can experiment with if you're making one. You decide like how big you would want the flower compared to the rest of it. So let me just see. Because mm, it's going to hang higher, but that's maybe all right. I'm not sure I like the way it's going down. So let me bring it back up. Sometimes we try things and then it's not exactly what we had envisioned. So I'm going to bring it back to this level. And Laura, you're too, are you too late? No, never too late. I started late. So um, uh, we still have a little bit of time. We've done a couple of things. And then, of course, you can always watch the uh, replay. So now let's do some, let's do the leaves first, I think. So I think it's going to be easier if I do the leaves first. So let me bring this over a little bit more. So to do the leaves, tulip leaves are quite tall. So let's bring one here. Okay, bring that in. Maybe like more of a right angle for the leaves because tulip leaves are a little pointy, right? So let's try to bend this more at a right angle. Okay, and we're going to bring this down. Not a right angle, but just like a really sharp bend. Okay, so we're going to bring that here. And you can even like squeeze these in a little bit if you want them a little more tight. And then let's do the other one. So we'll flip it over and we're going to bring this up here. And then same thing, wherever you want the petal to be, bend this at a like sharp angle. Okay, so you like to bend a sharp angle, hold it with your flat pliers and really push it with your thumb. And then that's going to create more of a sharp angle. It's just a little a little hack. And then we're gonna bring this down. So right away we have kind of the leaves, which are pretty cute. And then what you wanna do is you wanna bring this up to form the stems. So I think the easiest way is to do this is gonna just to bring it up to the front. Yeah, that's super simple. So we just bring it up to the front. And if you want to, you could like kind of bend it in a bit like give it a little whoops twist in so it kind of like does I don't know if you can see it but it does like a little bend there just to hold it in place a little bit more and there we have just the the leaves with the stem so that's kind of cute so now let's do the actual tulip my my wire is like way too um how do you say way too long but that's okay we're just going to bend this and so now let me just bend this at a little bit of an angle also going to try to use the flat pliers to make it nice and uh and like straight like a really good bend so there's so that's one's a right angle and then to do the tulip we're just going to bring this up okay i think the tulip might be end up being a little big for the for the stem, but we'll just see. We want to be able to get three uh, petals in there, right? So we're going to do this here and then just take the flat pliers again, bend it down, push it, 
So we'll bend it down there and then take the round pliers and bring it up. So this will be more kind of in the middle. Okay, and then we're gonna take the flat pliers again. And I find my wires like way too long, so I'm just gonna clip some off. So now we're gonna bend this down. I think this end of this ends being it's a little high in the middle, but that's okay. And then do we want to bring it to the front or back? I'll just bring it to the back again. So we're gonna do the same thing. We'll do another little loop. Okay, you could even like maybe put it on top of that one, but we'll do another little loop here. Okay, bring it out. And then we want to bend that one down. So same thing. I just think it's gonna be hard to get my flat pliers in there. So I'm just going to put my round pliers only because it's very difficult, tricky to get the tips of my round, my flat pliers. So then I'll go in and try to fix it up a little bit. Okay, so now we have like those three petals and then we can squeeze it in a little bit. Okay, we'll just squeeze this one in a little bit. And then we're going to bring this in here. Make sure I'm staying on the screen here. There we go. So we're gonna bring that one, maybe it has to be a little bit longer. Bring it down and bring that one in. Perfect. And then we're gonna just twist this to the back. So we're gonna take this and bring it to the back. Okay, just bring it to the back and clip that. Perfect. It's cute, eh? Yeah. No, I'm I'm liking the, the tulip. I think it's a fun idea. I think it's a really fun idea. So we'll bring that in there. Okay. And it's not, you know, perfect, perfect, but it's the idea because you do have to finish that off somehow. So we'll just do it that way for now. We're going to bring that up here. And so there's the little tulip. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. And then so now for this, uh, what do we want to do with that? There's a few things because you could, I mean, in theory, you could just put a jump ring in the top, but say you wanted to do, if you wanted to do like a, put a jump ring in, you could like make a little spiral too. Let me just play around with the spiral idea because I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do with this, but say we just played around with the idea of doing a spiral. I'm not quite sure like what we would want to do with this. So if we do like a little spiral, cause I mean, that's one idea is like, if you had a spiral up here, then you, these two would be even, right? So you could put a jump ring here and a jump ring up here to hang it up. So that's, that's okay. That's just a totally a question of taste of how you would want to do it. Like if, it, if it was, if you're doing it another way, like, I don't know, Robin, do you like the, do you like the spiral up top or should I use, do a spiral lower down? Because I could either keep the spiral here or I could do the spiral more at the, at the level where it starts. So maybe just let me know which, what you would prefer because I could do it either way. The advantage of this is that you could definitely like hang it up with jump rings, right? So that's, that would be the advantage of that one but I could do it either way. So I'm gonna, I'll compare these three to show you, show, show you guys what we've done so far. And um, I think I'm just gonna do the three for today because I do have to get back to my kitchen. But what I'll do is I have my little list of ones that people suggested. So Leslie su suggested the paintbrush, Laura the camera, and then the, uh, Am I think it was Amber that said the angel with the baby. So I'll definitely look on, I'm gonna look, um, into doing more of those. I'm just going to refresh my page because I'm having trouble with comments today. I'm not sure which door, just like that. Perfect. Awesome. And a bird, a bird is a really good idea. So, so guys, if you guys are members of the wire Art and jewelry club, uh, definitely. Oh, it was Aisha said that was the angel with the baby. Okay. That was okay. So Sorry about that. That was, I just said that. So I'm going to write that down. So I remember losing track. Uh, how you did the loop 
on the M would look good too. So yes, yeah, yeah, that's something like that. Maybe I could bring the wire back. I'm gonna have to think about that. So let me flip my screen around, guys. Oh, I could leave you on the tripod. So I'm just going to flip the screen. Yay, there we go, perfect. Close my cupboard. Great. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm so sorry I was late today. Uh, next time, I'll try to be more punctual at 1 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays. And I'm gonna work on some more names. I'm gonna do a video with all the letters of the alphabet. I think these are super fun. I'm really having a blast with it. I love your ideas. So I'll try to do a couple little quick videos um, with some of your suggestions. Anytime you want, if you have questions, you want me to do samples uh, for tutorials, you can, uh, you can email me, info at heatherboydwire.com and let me know if you have any special requests. And if you're not already a member, join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. We have a lot of fun there. It's a great group. Everybody's so supportive. And uh, yeah, so I'll just see if there are any more comments. Thank you for all. Oh, you're you're welcome. Everybody is so welcome. I'm really I'm really so happy that uh, you guys are are hopping on all the time. It's so funny. I'm realizing the comments are not even popping up on my on my iPod too. Very funny. This there was like a comment. A comment uh, ghost going on on the internet today, but it's it's all good. I'm just super grateful that you guys are here, and stay safe, stay healthy, keep busy, um, and we'll definitely see you next time. We'll see you in the group, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, everybody.